All right, we're getting into game one here. This is best three out of five now. We're in winner's finals. So let's see how it ends up shaking out. I feel like... I feel like, all, honestly, all of the Pokemon have their individual strengths against Peach. Uh, Squirtle, the fact that he's very small, is going to make Peach's aerials a lot harder to land. Yeah. Uh, Ivysaur has the range uh, and just the hitboxes to keep Peach out. And then Charizard... I mean, Charizard is just Charizard. Just <laughs> yeah, Charizard probably can out, like, mobilize Peach in a sense. And then kill. So, yeah. Like, yeah. At, at the same time, Peach is such a high skill ceiling character. Oh, yeah. And the fact that her mobility is completely unique and allows her to just engineer situations that just never exist for other characters makes it feel like there are very few matchups that are just out like, of reach for her. Or out of reach, yeah. And right now, Cody actually getting tons of damage here. Noku pushed to the brink, 136% and still at the ledge. Yeah, such a fairly big death that's... Are you th are they're dead! Oh my god! That kill? That wasn't even sweet spot, was it? I I am going to pray that that was sweet spot. I love Petey. <laughs> Petey's such a cool character. I don't. I'm, I don't know. I love Petey. Petey is actually a cool. Petey is actually a really, really cool character. I wish. I, honestly, we, we need more characters like PT. I want an entire fighting Smash clone. It's just basically PTs. Wait, can Cody do anything about that? What? If Noku just hangs on the ledge, what will Peach do to punish it? Down uh, smash is going to miss. It's not miss. It's not going to connect. Uh, I think we saw him kind of go for down tilt. Wouldn't down also, tilt just like lead to nothing, though? Hmm? Wouldn't down tilt just lead to nothing, though? At that percent, sure, but it's damage and it's better positioning. I guess. That didn't hit the IG summit. You're dead? Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh no. air dodge! Oh. <laughs> That's also something that Peach has a really good recovery. Horizontal. Horizontal. Vertically. Character Vertically. isn't necessarily. You're getting Ivysaur. You're getting, like you're getting yeah. Ivysaur. If you eat a down air at like past 30, you might just die. Yeah. And PT has so many ways of dealing with like stalling or just like like offstage shenanigans. Like he's like Nick is just going crazy right now. Oh my god, you know. You know when Noku goes for the S match. He feels himself. I mean, there's zero. It covers all options. It does cover all options. It's, it's okay. zero kind of play. Oh, and we actually haven't seen Zard yet. Yeah. That's not good. That's not gonna kill. It's not gonna get. Oh, who's dead? Oh, another one of those on the platform. Oh, you, you get a little left. Better believe oh, the he's dead. I like the grab. I knew the up was coming. I in. like that up too. I actually like that up. Well, the thing is that Peach has such good pressure, but the yeah. fact that there's armor <laughs> on that up, yeah, just <laughs> he okay. just caught it. He didn't do anything. He just caught it. Oh, he tried catching it there as well, I think. On point. What's 30? Dang, Squirtle. Okay, he wanted to get some bit of stage positioning before swapping. I can yeah. agree with that. I like that. And oh, this is looking pretty rough. 154%. Peach is a character that has really good combos, but she doesn't necessarily kill out of nowhere that reliably. Yeah. Especially at this percent. Yeah, like she doesn't have... She has no snipe. Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised Noku isn't going to go for this. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, Noku is not afraid to go to Zard. So, like, uh, it was very surprising. This is actually, up. hold on a second. This, this is, is close. an even game. This is close. Oh, 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 I see no reaction. He's looking for that. Oh, forward tilt. That didn't auto cancel. Oh, it didn't auto cancel. Just at the wrong height, and that cost him dearly. He was actually making that comeback happen. He was. Just by getting good percent in from those combos. Yeah. But uh, in the end, a single mistake. That's why, I mean, comebacks are hard. Even if you have momentum, even if you feel like you finally figured your opponent out, you have zero room for error. Single mistake like that. That's just barely not getting the auto cancel. It's going to cost him game one. And now Noku looks pretty good as he moves into game two. Like, also, like, especially against a character like PT, where, like, like, Ivy and Zard have a plethora of ways to kill. So, like, you can't mess up against them. Squirtle has one way to kill, and that is to forward tilt and then hope your opponent misses their tech. Yeah, or just down smash on the shield. Squirtle down smash is hilariously, like, that move takes no time at all. Takes no time and has no, uh, what's it called? And lag. And lag. Yep. It's a baiting tool. Oh, but that was so cute. What? Oh, oh, I thought that almost That should have killed. That should have killed. Yeah, no, that was cute enough that I it should have killed. I don't think I've seen, like, Nick do something cuter than that. I'll admit.
I think that was the slickest thing Nick has ever done. I mean, led to a stock regardless. It did All lead to a stock. All of that damage ended up, and there was no, Cody just couldn't get out of the corner. Just was brought from one corner to the other, just taking a world tour of FD. <laughs> I'm surprised Cody went to FD out of all places. Like, this is a stage that notoriously... I feel like Noku likes this stage. I feel like Noku doesn't like this stage. Really? Yes. I feel like Noku would not like this. But he used to play Diddy Kong. That is Diddy Kong. That is PT. It was a completely different character. I mean, yes. Also, actually, because he played Diddy Kong, it meant that he probably got no experience on FD because it was always bad. Yes. What's the up air instead of up air? I mean, I kind of agree with it. Wanted to keep the up B there in the bag, you know? Because otherwise he would lose the stall from up B, and that, that's a really important way to sometimes you know, snipe someone from I love the way Noku uses jab. Like, Noku will always, like, use jab in, like, like such good position. Whether it's to, like, check, like, check people or just get free damage. Love Mao. Zard is a big boy. Oh, Zard is a big boy. Rolling right past him, and the shower spot backer is still enough to kill. And at this point, Cody looking like he is in a rough spot. 166 on Noku, but he feels it feels like he's just confidently alive. Never mind, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, that was such a hard position for Noku. Ooh. Oh, looking for that combo starter, really hungry for it to the point where Noku just was playing around Ooh. it. What is the spacing? <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a fiesta, and it goes away. Oh, I love how Cody instantly knew what they were gonna do with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was actually such like a wonky angle to like. That was the true like, like a uh, matchup check. Is that a dive? No, I don't think that's a dive. Ooh. And we grab the turnip as well. I I feel like turnips are really important in this matchup. And I earlier, like, like Noku no, recognizing that is staying on top of him more now. It felt like for a minute there, he was actually letting him run across the stage and just pick turnips. I feel like against Ivysaur, it's not that good. Because, like, you can just throw out a Razor Leaf. Like, no, it's not, it's not good to, like, just throw out randomly, but the fact that it extends her range is really... I feel like it's important in order to deal with, you know, Ivysaur's safer hitboxes. I feel like... I feel like Ivysaur could just, like, throw out a Razor Leaf and then just, like, neutralize it, though. And Ivysaur has the range to deal with, the uh, like, the, the turn. Yeah, well, we'll see right now. Oh, try to use the get off the ledge. And although this is a really good position for Noku, this is actually very similar to game one, and that one almost ended up swinging into Cody's favor. Yeah, nice frame trap there with the turn up throw. And he's supposed to go to Zard. Zard is such a big body, and those peach combos are going to work that much more effectively right now. But oh, the up smash. The dare. Getting an up smash out of shield, and Noku is up 2 0. Yeah, not only is up 2 0, but it feels like he has just a firm grasp on what he needs to be doing and executing on that game plan because. Both of those games kind of went pretty similarly, where he's just like consistently, consistently ahead. Yeah. Like, I wonder where Cody's gonna go. I'm curious. Yeah, I think back to that. That's fine. Yeah. I like that. What, what's the music? Is it, this is is really it Fire Emblem? I feel like this could be Fire Emblem. This is music. Yo, Fire Emblem has actually really good battle music. Fire Emblem does this really good battle music. Does have really good battle music. Can we see the song? Uh, that's not answering my question. Oh, I'm gonna say this is from Xenoblade. That also is another game with great battle music. Yes. Honestly, I'm I'm sad that whenever anybody goes to FD, they don't just instantly pick the yodeling song. The what? The yodeling song. The what? The the I, do I need to repeat myself do a third I time? I need to repeat myself for a third time. <laughs> the yodeling song. The what? <laughs> <laughs> the classic uh, jam that everybody's vibing to these days. Do, do, I, I, did you not know there's a yodeling song in Smash? I feel like this is like the equivalent to like the, the white noise on like the, uh, that like, green <laughs> screen environmental stage. The environmental no, no, no. noise. Environmental noise. And that puts me to sleep. Yodeling pumps me up. It's from, uh, it's, I believe it's from uh, Tekken. From Tekken? Tekken, the yodeling song. What? From I, the, the yodeling stage, probably. I'm not gonna question it, man. Cody Tekken. 
All right, you, you have to make a request. Ryan, you're listening. The next time that they play, uh, we demand that the Yodeling song has to be the song. We, we, we own the venue. We control the rule set. And the new rule set starting now is that all matches on FD uh, and Battlefield must have the Yodeling song. I paid venue, I gotta say. <laughs> Ooh, nice little tomahawk. Right now, Cody kind of flinging. I think he really got hit much in the second stock. And those are already at 100%. That barrier will not kill. That up from that smash. Yeah, but Cody looking so much better this game. Yeah, like looking like he might actually go up two stocks to one. Yeah. Noku pushed into the corner as Zard. It's the worst place to be. And beautifully spaced. That's that peach spacing that's yeah. so, so key in every single matchup. And it means that every good peach player just knows how to thread the needle, put themselves in the exact perfect spot to buy pixels. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Just a re-grab. Okay, nice reaction. Okay, Noku kind of on a hot streak right here. Pretty much has been uncontested this stock. The oh. air dodge reflux, it's still gonna whiff. It keeps going though. No. Oh my god. That's actually a huge uh, that huge whiff. Because oh, like no. that would have evened things up entirely. Oh, no. But now he has to face off against the Rage Peach and any low percent combo is gonna do so much damage. Back to oh. should do it! Yep, that and is, now we have an even game. That is the one time. The one time where Ivy Sword Grab is actually good there. Because it had the range to actually grab the peach. Okay, hold on. Like generally, tether grabs in the corner are actually really good. Yeah, but like, like, like as a Yoshi player, I've started grabbing in the corner a ton because people just love to jump at the exact range that's safe on shield against any other character. And you're just like, oh. yeah. it's like Ivy grab isn't even like a tether grab. It's like a kind of like in between where it has range, but it doesn't have like true, true. Like it's kind of the same thing where it's the exact space where a lot of characters like to like if you're in the corner, they love to pressure you at that range. Yeah. Ooh, nice, uh, nice like patience on Noku not to hold him there, but. There. Yeah. There. Okay. Really good stuff from Cody there, making sure to take that lead all the way to the bank. Evening, uh, making things a little bit more even here in terms of game count. It's going to be 2 1. Yeah. Noku still only needs one more game, though, and now that it's his stage counterpick, let's see where he takes us right back to uh, PS2. I agree with that. Classic comfort. No reason not to pick it. Uh, there are reasons not to pick it. There are reasons not to pick it. Because you can't listen to the yodeling song. Why am I commenting? <laughs> yeah, I'm teaching you new things about the game. I am broadening your horizons. I am letting you see the forest through the trees. Okay. The yodeling <laughs> trees. The yodeling <laughs> trees? <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was I, that was I a love crazy Luffy. reaction. I love Squirtle Luffy. Squirtle, Squirtle Luffy. Luffy. It's so it's I love it's Squirtle so Luffy dumb. so much. It's so funny. It's so it dumb. has so much more range than you'd ever think it it's would. Like twice the like the hitbox is like twice the size of Squirtle, man. It's, so it's the best out of shield option in the game. I, I Honestly, nothing will nobody will ever tell me anything otherwise. Game and Watch doesn't have anything on that. Yeah, Game and Watch doesn't hit from like four, four Squirtles away. They kind of do. But and also well, the biggest reason why that up is so good is the fact that um. Uh, the opponent gets trapped in it for like two 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 minutes. <laughs> they have to stare themselves in the. They have to do some serious introspection. It's like a Falco combo and like an out of shield option. <laughs> oh, whoa. All right. Anyway, uh, talking about the actual game itself. Once more, we have an even start, but Noku's been taking stock, and I feel like whenever he takes that first stock, he's able to extend his lead and take it all the way to a victory. Let's see if Cody will break that curse right now. He needs to clean this up right here. He does with that back here, that trade. Pretty favorable this, for Cody. Yeah, pretty favorable, 69%. Not, yeah. I mean, it's pretty nice, but it's not a great position. Well, well now you're in a worse position. Literally, I have figure it out. I like the, the water gun. No more float. No more jump. Nice landing, now. Okay. Up throw. We've seen so many up throws from Noku, but that could have been very dangerous. Oh, yeah. Oh, Speaking that back of danger. air. <gasps> Speaking of danger, you get hit by that back air, and you're not at, like, super duper high percent. Ivy can just set up for, like, or combo into, like, up, -y, up air, like, so many things. Yeah, and now look at this. Noku once more up by a huge amount. We've seen in those other, the game one and game two, Cody did almost run it back. He managed to take that, bring him Noku down to the last stock, and then keep himself alive. 
but he never managed to actually do the like finish the job. Will this be the? Uh, will, will he finally manage to undo that? It's Noku though, with control. And another thing about that is like Noku is a momentum based player. He is. He will go crazy. Like, will, I would. Did you just like? Did you see that stock too? Like when he got one stock, he started doing like some like, like not even wacky, but just kind of like. It's pretty, I want to say, like, it's like Zardoz with, like, calming off of Uppers. Yeah, I feel like Mo Noku's not even... I don't think he's a momentum player as much as it is he's really good at exploiting opponents' fear once it comes out. He that doesn't, like, true. start going super ham. He that doesn't, like, true. I'm going to go crazy off stage and do all this that nutty stuff. It just is just, like, now you're scared, and now I'm going to play in such a way that, like, my optimal options will still kill you. Ooh, the little hit box on the little bro. <laughs> actually going to give Cody... At least on life right there, because he you're definitely gonna get Ivy Dared there. If you're like anyone. It's disgusting parry. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about with uh, the turnip that you know, granted the parry is what opened uh, him up right there, but nonetheless, just a good to get extra damage. Mazard in the corner. That time actually dodges the up smash. That's huge. We now actually have a totally even game between these two. Oh, no. Reads the, the flare but doesn't make it there in time! The panic up smash, oh no, there I they're literally at even percent right now. There's point two percent separating them. Finally, he undoes it. Cody keeping himself alive. So many times we had seen him not be able to bring it over the finish line when he was wow. making the comeback. But right there, right there, he does it, bringing us to a game five. That is that is where it matters most as well, because that is literally your like your winner stock right there. Yeah, that is your winner stock right there. Do or dead. Yeah. Do you know what stage you went to? What? what? Do you know what stage you went to? Uh, I Probably missed it. PS2? I would. I would. Honestly, guess back to yeah. Probably I would say PS2. PS2. Yeah, PS2. I don't I think Nick like would any. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. like, unless you're like not banning like Yoshi Story, which in that case you kind of deserve to go to Yoshi Story. Like, where else would you go? Okay, triple up. Yep. Throw. Yeah, these early Squirtle combos. We haven't really seen that much of them this set so far. Oh, but funny, yeah. Yeah. Peach being floatier means that he has to opt for those less, uh, like the, the 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 shorter strings. Yeah, and I love it. Up B, you're tilting him, you're putting Ooh. him on blast. Another up B. Every single one of Peach's up Bs are hilarious. I love every single up B that Pokemon Trainer has. Well, and they're also different. They are also different. That's <laughs> not gonna kill. Barely. No invincibility. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Knowing exactly the move to put that down angled forward tilt. Uh, Grant now brings Noku once again to a really early lead, but we already saw in that last game between these two, an early lead is not a death Done. sentence for yeah, Cody. It is not over. Especially, especially in an early lead like this, where it's like, it's not undoable, right? Like, he's at 62%. Peach can rack up damage like, like it's free. No, especially when Charizard comes out. This could be really big. 109, once again, trapped yeah. the ledge. Charizard was just so big there, actually getting hit by the bear behind him. Like, oh, what a grab! Take it. That Tomahawk grab, so, so clean, so fast, too. Like, Nick, Noku has been, like, he's been up smashing, in, like, in that place. Out spacing the jabs! Nice. This pressure, it's, it's coming alive right now from Cody. I like that high side beat. Really, yeah. really smart. Oh, no punish on the up smash. That was actually kind of bad. Fair, though. Maybe start something? A little, little, little. Oh, Charizard's just too heavy to actually die even from that back air. But trapped at the corner. Okay, okay gets a fair. combo. Yeah, nice that hit. Killed. Dash attack's actually enough to do it. Finally getting to the threshold where dash attack is able to, you know, actually finish the opponent off. Makes yeah. life a lot easier for Peach. Yeah. Um, but now, already taking about 74. Not the end of the world. Definitely not the end of the world, especially because Peach combos oh. do... Uh, 36 <gasps> today. Yeah, the fact he fell out of that uh, dash attack, I think maybe he would have taken some extra if he hadn't. But yeah. It's also kind of like, you're at the point where you have a little bit of rage and it's Squirtle, so it's kind of hard to combo at that point. So. I can see like Peach only getting like not like not as much as like 50 or 60 there. Yeah, I'm surprised we're still looking at the Squirtle right here. Uh, normally, you know, it's not like you know he gets that one hit and then he switches to Ivysaur at these percents. Yeah. But no, he's staying this little perk. 
And all right, now he's actually going Ivy Sword. He's going to be forced to go to Charizard though. And once again, Charizard in the corner. We've seen that this can actually be a recipe for disaster. But I love what that up he had been because he had been up, up smashing out of shield. Yeah, alive. and the up smash was getting spaced around, but the up B up just, just a little bit further when you reverse it. He was also behind him, so he couldn't even up smash. Him. That was actually like such good game sense from Noku right there to like get that up B there. Yeah, all these up Noku's been getting so many up Bs this set. Peach is an upbeat character, man. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> right. I mean, if Cody gets the kill here, which is, like, very realistic. Oh, that's going to be big, though. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, we've, seen what, we've seen what Zard can do when you're at the corner with a lot of rage. No, I don't think he has a jump. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the patience that. from Noku. Couldn't be... And oh, no. a shield what drop. Up -y. Oh my I, god, what a call out. Yeah, I cannot believe that. That up was so risky, especially considering that admittedly it's not gonna kill. But Cody, yeah. 92%, 97%, that's a lot. He needs to close out the stock immediately. Cause Zard is such a threat right now with all this rage, that higher percentage onto Cody himself. This could be he could evaporate at any instant, Ooh. but that side be finally connecting. This is still a game. Yeah, here. no, this is still a game. This is still a game. 97% and Noku's still on squirt. Oh, but the Ivy Sword. Oh, Did you see the beef Noku? I saw that. So oh, smart. No. And here's the combo starter putting him off the ledge. Zard once again. Oh, oh no. I, don't know if he, he, I think he has no more jumps. He's forced to land. He has one more. He doesn't have one more. My bad. The roll gonna get caught in. It's even. Ooh. It's even. It's, it's been like 20 game. seconds and it's even. That's not bad. I don't know if this is gonna do it yet. That's He's forced to go for forward throw. Kill. Well, but the still is a really bad position. I like yeah. the flamethrower. Another grab will do it. I'm not sure what Noku's looking for. He does oh, a dash back, and the jab is gonna kill. <laughs> the jab? No kill screen. Nothing no like kill that. No kill screen jab. I think it's because Cody held in. <sighs> is